In today's video, we are going to explore one of the most asked questions that I see floating around inside of Royal High. Particularly on Twitter, even inside the game and in my YouTube comments, people are always asking this one particular question. Today, Dolly and I are going to explore that question and talk to you guys a little bit about it. This is a video talking about the question, has Royal High changed? Hey guys, we're aiming for 70,000 subscribers by the end of March. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do consider clicking that sub button to support me and Dolly. I hope you enjoy the video. Hello wonderful little beans, my name is B, and welcome back to another video. Today you guys, we're going to be talking about the question that I just mentioned before that I see get asked all the time. Has Royal High changed? I'm very excited to talk to you a little bit about this because I think the perspective and the, I guess, opinions on this particular topic are so varying and so different among the community and different members in the community that I really thought it'd be worth exploring it with you guys in a video. Hey everyone, I'm Dolly and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing super duper well. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and let us know how you guys are doing, how your days are going and what you've been up to. We love reading all of your comments and we'll try to reply to as many as we can and of course leave some hearts on your comments too. For sure, little beans, be sure to leave a comment down below if you haven't already. I love reading them all when I go to bed every night, so thank you so much for always commenting and liking the video. You have no idea how much it helps, and it really does support me. It means that more people see our videos because the magical YouTube algorithm likes to recommend videos based on how many likes and comments it gets. So if you want our channel and our community to keep growing, please do consider leaving a little comment and also liking the video and maybe sharing it with a friend. So you guys, the question, has Royal High Change, gets asked a lot. And to be honest, I think it's a question that is a bit of a curious one because nobody is really specifying whether they're hoping for a negative or positive answer. I think there's both negative and positive reasons or connections or even connotations to the question, has Royal High changed? There are ways it has changed that some of us might feel sad about or nostalgic about or things we might miss. And there are ways it has changed that, have, that has made this game an incredible, incredible game and made it even better than it already was. There's so many different ways that this game has changed and the way that the game has obviously developed and evolved over the years it's hard to really say whether it has changed in a negative or positive way as a whole when there's so many different ways in which it has changed in particular so i did ask you guys on twitter what you think has changed about royal high and whether it's positive or negative so we're going to read those at the end of the video but first i thought i'd give my opinions on this topic first things first has royal high changed as a fundamental question absolutely of course it has changed over the years, you guys. If it stayed completely the same, it would be boring and no one would play it. It would be the same game that we've been playing every single year for literally like five years. Where would the fun be in that? Obviously, when I first started playing the game back in 2018, I only played it occasionally until 2020, you guys. I never played it regularly until 2020. And I always think, if you think back to that time, the game was completely different. We had a very basic score. We spawned on a beach when we first arrived. The beach didn't make much sense to me and was kind of empty and had nothing on it. I, as a new player, had no idea what I was doing. We had barely any sets. Most of the models that were used were just free ones that they obtained online that anybody could have. There was not really anything super unique about the game and it was mostly just based loosely on an Enchantix, obviously, Winx-related game that didn't really have a lot of its own character yet. Back then, Barbie was obviously building something away from the Enchantix High that she was obviously making before. And obviously Enchantix High was based heavily on the Winx game. And she was trying to build something new and unique, kind of similar in the way that Enchantix High was, but in her own style. And obviously Royal High was what was born from those ideas. But Royal High has changed so much over the years, you guys, and has gone from a game about a school to now having so many rounds and so many different ways that you can play the game that you can't possibly call it a school game anymore. Yes, it's called Royal High and Royal High School is the core place inside of it but in reality there's so many places you can go so many realms and so many different things that can you really call it just a school game anymore I don't think we can I think there's too much that's happening in this game for it to just be a school game I think there's too much inside of it for it to just be a school game there's the apartments there's F there's so many different places, you guys, that you can go in Royal High. There's so many different things you can do. So you can't possibly just assume that obviously the whole thing is about a school anymore. Obviously, the biggest update that we are waiting for right now is the new score, and I think that they are trying to re, I guess, anchor the game as a school game, but with all of the extras, because the score is probably the least visited place now, I feel like, you guys. I feel like all of the new realms makes the school 
pretty much somewhere that nobody really wants to go. Just purely because, well, you don't need to. There's no reason for you to go to the school. For the most part, the only reason why you would want to go there is obviously to go to the classes that you've already played a million times, or if you are a brand new person to the game and want to try out for the first time. Therefore, you guys, in my opinion, the school part of the game right now isn't as important as we might think. And that is definitely why I think they want the new school to resurface as an amazing place to be, lots to do, and really get people playing the school part of the game again. I really want to talk a little bit about the negative and positive changes. Some of the negative changes that some people feel is the loss of old legacy items, the nostalgia of losing certain places and certain areas. One area that I will agree with that I definitely miss is the original Divinia. I did play during that period and that was my longest period of playing the game until 2020 because obviously I took a break after that again. I do miss the original Divinia. I loved Divinia. I really thought it was amazing and beautiful but I didn't know enough about Royal High at the time to really enjoy it. I do remember playing in the Easter update and getting annoyed with the Easter egg hunt so I stopped playing but that was mainly because I didn't understand what was going on and to be honest I think it just confused me as a whole but you guys the positive changes massively outweigh all of the negatives so you guys think about all of the positive things that have happened over the years we have gone from four developers working on the game to over 20 different devs and builders all working to build an incredible game with multiple realms multiple updates and amazing gorgeous sets healers accessories and more all in the space of around two years, which is a crazy amount of growth for a game that really isn't that old in the first place and was built by one woman. I think it's absolutely incredible where the game has got to right now and you'd be silly to say the game hasn't changed. Of course it has changed, but not in a negative way. I think the ways that it's changed are 100% positive and I can't wait to see how it changes in the future as well. Let's have a look at what you guys said about the changes though. So as you can see, I tweeted out, tell me ways in which Royal High has completely changed over the years. Firstly, AOT Cookie said, great quality builds slash realms. I absolutely agree. The builds before were not as high quality. Even though the devs tried their best, they were still new to developing this game. Of course, they weren't as high quality and as crazy amazing as they are now. It is significantly better now than it ever was before. Ben said, for real this time, less models, more skirts, more credits, more advanced scripting in UIs, and more ways to get diamonds. One that I really want to focus on here is more credits. They definitely have everybody's name who makes items listed over the top of their items to credit them. They don't use free models anymore. There's so many skirts, so, so many skirts. And of course, new ways to get diamonds is a big deal because diamonds have become a fundamental way that we play the game. Kai said, RH used to only have four devs, but now it has 20 plus. We have grown so much and the biggest change we are making is the new school. The new school is changing the entire look of Royal High. I remember the first time I played and the biggest part was the school. Now it's getting remodeled. And the important thing to remember about that, you guys, is that this new school is a huge, huge deal. And it is completely changing the theme and design of Royal High entirely to something completely new. Something that is completely, completely different to the Royal High we know now. Gamer Girl said, better scores, updates, sets, finally including guy sets, different healers, which is the best type of healer that is not always the same. Better apartment updates, a system to prevent hackers from exploiting, better scripting, hard working devs, and more accessories would be cool. Basically, they're saying all those things are good, but more accessories would be cool. And your mom's house said, I think the dresses, accessories, and realms have changed a lot since the very first update of Royal High. And I absolutely definitely agree, you guys. So for the most part, what I'm gathering here, you guys, is that most people are in agreement that the changes to Royal High over the years are very positive. And I 100% agree. I think Royal High has changed a lot in the way that we recognize the game, but I definitely think it has been for positive reasons. What do you think, Little Beans? Let me know in the comments down below if you think the changes to Royal High over the years are positive or negative, what you miss or what you're happy about. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it and I love you guys lots and I'll see you all next time. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. We're going to aim for 250 as always and don't forget to subscribe. We're aiming for 70,000 subscribers by the end of March. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.